For a long time, I've felt that the Wii Classic controller is the best controller for the Nintendo Wii, but they've improved upon this with the Wii Classic Controller Pro. For professional use, Pro. I love it when they use the word Pro for video game accessories. Let's talk about another controller with the word Pro, the Atari 2600 Pro Line Trackball for professional Atari players, Pro. They, they may as well have just used the word Platinum or Extreme Pro, but the, the, the big difference between the Wii Classic Controller Pro and the ProLine Trackball is that this actually works. This thing is a complete piece of junk. Never buy one of those for your Atari. They're awful. If we look at the Classic Controller Pro right next to the Classic Controller, you can see that they're very similar, except this has the obvious hand extension things down here that you can hold on to. But the analog sticks are also further apart, because when you hold this like this, your thumbs generally move out more towards the outside of the Wii controller. Better positioning for this configuration. But that's not the only difference. The Z buttons have been moved into a traditional PlayStation 2 configuration, making this feel a lot like the PlayStation 2 controller. Which is a good thing because the PS2 controller is one of the best controllers ever made. This is a lot lighter though, it doesn't have any, any rumble function. And it is essentially wireless because to use it, you plug it into your standard Wii controller in the back here. And now you have a wireless controller. So it really is pretty much the exact same thing as the classic controller with some modifications. As far as I can tell, the buttons and the D-pad and the analog sticks are all exactly the same. The placing of the select home and start button are also the same. Obviously this one is black with a piano gloss finish making fingerprints extremely obvious. I wish they would have gone with more of a textured surface like the Sega Genesis controllers. But let's take a look at the side of this thing. That looks really familiar. Let's see what I have over here. Ah, PlayStation 2 controller. Yeah, very similar in uh, pretty much every way. Although the analog sticks on the PlayStation 2 controller are far better. They're just smoother. But for the Nintendo Wii, this is ideal. Far better than using the Wii controller and nunchuck for many of the games that have more of a standard video game interface. Obviously, you don't wave and swing this one around for motion control. Ironically, while all of the competitors are trying to come up with their own motion control accessories, Nintendo is busy producing better game pads. Aside from the obvious color difference here between these two units, the major difference between the Classic Controller and the Classic Controller Pro is that you're a professional when you're using this one. Now, it's that this one feels more like a PlayStation 2 controller, and this one feels more like an old school gamepad. And this one's, this is basically the exact same controller with the hand things put onto it. So if you really prefer to play old school games on the virtual console with a gamepad like the old school Super Nintendo gamepad, then go with this one. If you like using the PlayStation 2 controller, this is the one that you want. Uh, one game in particular which works very well with the Wii Classic Controller Pro is this one, Monster Hunter Tri from Capcom. This controller is so badass that it actually made its way into the Monster Hunter Tri instruction manual. Look at that. Even they're recommending that you use this thing. Some of the new adventure games like this one require you to move your character around with this stick and then you can rotate the camera with that stick. Fairly traditional dual analog stick control. So very, very nice controller for that. But you can also do the same thing with this if you already have one of these. I've been using this controller for numerous games on the Nintendo Wii for different reviews. The Monster Hunter Tri review uses this controller, Dead Moon and Biohazard Battle, both downloadable from the Virtual Console, are played using this controller. It works well for new adventure games like this one. It works well for old school shooters and arcade games. The picture on the packaging looks so real. Now you can be a professional Nintendo Wii video game player with 
the Classic Controller Pro. It does look cool. I'll give them that. Let's take a look at one image here in the Classic Controller Pro instruction manual, the operations manual. Like you need a manual to learn how to use this thing. But right, let's take a look at this picture here. Keep in mind that even if you're using the Classic Controller Pro, professionals still keep their Wii controller in the safety condom thing. 